Okay guys, so this is just another part of the video. Um, this is my second half of my uh, dual polarizing Yagi style antennas um, by wiring. Basically, um, I bought my first set. Here's the second set. Um, they just sent it from Taiwan and I have to say it came super, super fast. Like Amazon, um, I think I got it in like four days. I've never seen anything like it to the US. So. Um, here's what you kind of get in the box. Okay, it's like I've already got one of these installed. This is the bar, the mounting bracket, instructions. It's always good packaging. Everything's high quality. And then you got the two antennas that you're going to link together on the bracket. The female end connector. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, take this. And then they sent me this part separate since I didn't buy the four pack. I bought the two pack. Basically, I'm going to connect these and make four antennas, okay? So it's going to have that, and then we're going to have these. So stay tuned, multiple boxes, it's going to be fun assembly, and then we'll show the final product. Okay, guys, so you saw me unboxing my second set of uh, <laughs> dual Yagi-style polarizing Mimo antennas, right? Well, I sent it back to the store. <laughs> Um, I put it up there and um, basically did not help the DBs at all. I mean, obviously, um, we were looking at it for more stability during storms, but the two that I have work just fine. Um, so I'm going to show you the setup. Uh, this is my son's room. <laughs> I used to keep the router downstairs, but he has it directly routed to his PlayStation, so he's pretty happy he's got direct connection. All right, but I'm just kind of fortunate enough um, to have this kind of a setup. Guys, I just want to tell you one thing. Um, <clears throat> dump the freaking jetpacks. <clears throat> okay? What you want to get is... Crap. I can barely see it. All right, guys. That is a MoFi 4500. Okay? It's in this probably 150 degree attic. It is hot today. It's like 100 degrees. That right there, you can barely see it. That's my Wilson Pro Plus booster. You don't need that, guys. Okay? If you're looking for data, LTE, rural internet solutions, you got to get the MoFi 4500. Ditch the jetpacks or the MiFi's or whatever the hell hotspots because I'll tell you why. They're industrial. Okay? And they have the, um, the ports, just like a jetpack. They have the two antenna ports that you can see on the left and the right over there. Okay? Those ports are going to be basically what opens up uh, putting up an antenna. All right. Um, if you want to leave it running continuous, then what I recommend is you got to keep uh, get a MoFi. OK, so you don't have fire hazards with batteries and shit like that. OK, so I told you I'd make a part two. <clears throat> um, this guy's <clears throat> excuse me, beats my little jetpack setup. If, if all you can do is the jetpack stuff, that's fine. But we're about to go outside this window and I'm about to show you. <clears throat> OK, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're back. I'm out on this, my son's roof, all right, where I just uh, ended that piece. So I just want to let you know, first off and foremost, I was on this ladder probably a thousand times. <laughs> so you're probably wondering how I got this nice pole uh, mounted. Um, basically paid somebody to do it because <laughs> I didn't want to frick up my house I just bought. So, but <clears throat> you can do it. It looks like very standard, guys, if you're trying to put a pole on your house. Um, or even satellite dish style it on your roof. Um, as you can see, I am totally surrounded by trees. Okay, totally surrounded by trees. All right, so oh, wouldn't that be a hoot if I fell? I'd be on like uh, failarmy.com, that'd be the best. Okay, so here's the setup, guys, right there. For extremists like me, who are probably 10 to 15 miles from the closest tower, Surrounded by trees. Absolutely no way. Maybe one bar of horizon out here, okay? Um, <clears throat> no way to get internet. You're going to want to do this. Get a pole. Buy the wiring, okay? Wiring dual MIMO antennas. The two up top. Not this bottom Yagi right here, okay? That is to that booster that you saw. It does not go to the MoFi. That was already pre-installed. That's just helping me get better voice in the house, okay? It, it's, that's why I paid somebody to install the pole. They initially installed the pole for that. I just recently bought these two and I just put it above it. Um, upon talking to them on the phone, they told me to try to put it on a different pole so it doesn't interfere, but I don't think it's interfering whatsoever. 
they're pointed to two totally different towers. Got a tower over there, and then we got a tower almost straight ahead. Um, right about here in between the trees is probably the only spot I can get <clears throat> with band four. And band four, as before you guys saw, is maybe getting six to eight megabits with just the jet pack in the back of the house, okay, on band 13. Now, I'm not trying to confuse you guys, all right? There are different bands with Verizon. They're with the uh, MoFi, having that MoFi black little router that was in my attic, you've got carrier aggregation. Basically means that you can put your SIM in and it'll use other cell phone carriers to basically get you, sig you know, use the signal from those carriers, okay? So I'm on like a band four and I just have maybe this much, that's my fingers, <laughs> this much to turn that antenna left or right before I'm out of range. So I'm just getting enough signal. <clears throat> when the wind starts picking up, and we've got like storms come through eh, I might lose it it'll get up to like negative 25 negative 130 dBs but I'm sitting in a clean negative 117 and negative 120 it fluctuates but it stays there it keeps my internet rocking guys after this video I am going to do a speed test and show you what I have before upload speed sucks it's like one megabit maybe two if I'm lucky but who cares? If I want to upload, I'll just put my phone on LTE and use the booster from the inside and it's getting like seven, seven up, but it's getting like one or two down. So I can't even really use that. <clears throat> and you're probably asking, why don't I just put those booster or the, the dual antenna on my booster? You can't do that. Boosters kill the MIMO, okay? You guys, you have to understand. MIMO, multi-in, multi-out, that's what it stands for is the best technology for LTE the best speeds that you could possibly get a lot of you are not educated on this like they sell these on Amazon these wiring um, Mimos okay they sell these suckers and they're expensive all right they're about three to four hundred bucks for a dual set it's a dual set that comes with this little cross beam here you just attach them together they 45 degree angle and you just run your cord I just ran it all the way down, <clears throat> all the way down the trim here. Just kind of dressed it up, put some zip ties on it. We just came down here. We went through a little hole that they had already made when they freaking put in this uh, this little Yagi here, okay, for the uh, Wilson Pro Plus. <clears throat> so I took my drill and drilled some more and somehow fed these wires through here. And the wires come with the kit. They come with the kit. They come with like 25 footers. I only have like 15 footers on here that I bought separate because I put a different antenna up that did not really work. It was the proxy cast. It's on Amazon. It's like $99. It's a sectorial type style. It works. Um, I recommend trying that one first because um, it is like $200, $300 cheaper. <laughs> but if you want your crap to work and it's not very sightly, but these, these are your money. Okay. This is a gorgeous house. Um, it's unfortunate. I got to put it up there, but you know, from the road, from a distance, man, nobody can you can't even see it. It kind of blends in with the color of the house. So I'm kind of lucky there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, get yourself your jet pack. Put it in a MoFi 4500, which I'll put the link in the description. And then put your SIM card in there and give it a try. Um, you might not even need the antennas. The MoFi might be better for you. But what I will tell you is wiring is not getting credit. And I'm not really trying to promote Although uh, they did tell me I would have a discount code for those that purchased this antenna. And guys, I am no, I'm like, I'm in the army, okay? 12 year vet, okay? Like I'm a recruiter. My job is to put people in boots. I am by no means trying to sell products, but what I'm trying to tell you is help you, okay? For people like me who have kids that freaking play Call of Duty and Fortnite and YouTube and Switch, and my wife does Netflix and Hulu, and I'm on Call of Duty and doing college or whatever the hell it is that you do, we need power internet, man. Like we're a power using family, okay? You want power? Now you're playing with power. I stole that from Nintendo. But yeah, so you guys, you guys gotta try these, okay? Just give them a try. Put them on your Amazon freaking credit card and just make payments on it. If you don't wanna blow, you know, 360 or 70 bucks, whatever they are, I'm gonna put the link in the description. They do multiples. You could stack them, put two and then two and then two. Like I, I had the second set. That's the one that you saw me unbox. Um, like I said, they sent that to me because I wanted to stabilize out here. When the trees start moving, they wanted to see if it worked um, without losing signal. Personally, um, it was a big expense and I was like, you know what? It didn't make a difference in DBs. I just sent it back. If I'm very desperate and it's just cutting out all the time, um, I'll, I'll buy another one. 
But in the meantime, right now, guys, like the wind's blowing, it's working great. Okay, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this here in a second. I'm gonna do a speed test. I'm gonna show you the results. And it's anywhere from 20 to 33 megabits a second. Okay, download. All right. Um, it's it's money. And the reason why you saw the router in my son's room is basically because. Uh, <clears throat> It, it's just easier to chain link the uh, the MoFi to it, okay? I'm not using the MoFi for, for Wi-Fi. Even though you can, you can use the MoFi as a router for your home network, okay? Um, I just rather, like another guy did on a video, uh, my Tesla dude, he's on Instagram, you can find him. But anyway, um, you, <laughs> you basically use a gaming router because you know how powerful those things are, okay? So I'm blasting the gaming router throughout most of the house. The kids are upstairs. This is a, this is a house on stilts, as you can see. Um, and then I have an ex a Netgear extender, which is the same extender that I was using in my first video with the rural internet. Uh, it's pretty much a similar setup. The, uh, the MoFi is connected to the router up here and the router up here is sending signal down to the extender downstairs. The whole house is blasted. I even have, uh, have an antenna outside, okay, for outside internet, which I will show you that too, just for the hell of it. If you guys want to have better internet outside and it was cheap, it was like 39 bucks. All right, guys. Keep it real. Get the wiring dual antenna thing. It works. What's up, guys? Hey, I told you I'd do a speed test real quick. Um, so you can see that's one I just recently did, but uh, we're going to do it again. This is with the two, just the two wiring MIMO antennas connected to a simple um, MoFi 4500 router. Yeah, we're at peak hours now. We're at like 810. Here's another cool thing too, guys, like LTE is really fast. So like I said, the download sucks. <clears throat> LTE is real fast. Um, I would say faster than most of your broadband. Once you're, once you're at like 15 to 20 up, you're not even gonna be able to tell. Um, even if other people are like using it and like streaming, like you know how some internets get bogged down when multiple users are on. Not so much with this. Um, we could be playing games online and streaming all at the same time and it's not gonna get bogged down. So just keep that in mind. Ping's a little bit better. <clears throat> and like I said, I'll, I'll get, you know, 10 o'clock at night, this will be up to like 30 megabits, 30, sometimes 35. I've seen it at like two in the morning. So I just wanted to show you guys, yes, the upload does suck. So it's gonna be interesting on how I upload this video. Uh, but like I said, I can use that, uh, that Wilson booster um, and just basically put my phone on LTE if I absolutely have to. Or I could just do it on the desktop computer and just wait a year, so. Whatever I want to do, but I'm not too worried about it, but um, it's functional, guys. You want download speed more than you want upload. If you're a power YouTuber, then I recommend, yeah, signal booster maybe for better upload but and voice. But, um, yeah, so no issues with it. Um, I've had it up for like a uh, week. I said no issues with it, and then all of a sudden it just says like it doesn't work. That's funny. So, ping's better, speeds are holding steady about 23, 24, there you have it guys. Hey, my name's John, hit me up if you need anything, got any questions on anything, uh, how I hooked everything up, what kind of cables, I'm going to try to put links to everything in the description so you guys can kind of build your own and uh, guys, make the investment, don't be cheap. All right, last video clip, I swear. I told you guys I was gonna show you the outside internet. All right, as you can see, there it is way up there. It's really not that bad, okay? I had a satellite dish sitting like right in the middle top. I just had that thing removed as you saw it out back, probably in one of the clips, but. Okay, so it really not that bad. And like from way out there, you're not gonna see it. So that's cool. Um, while I'm out here mowing the lawn and stuff, all right, we're sitting on the pool deck. You want to play a Bluetooth speaker, whatever. I can use the, the Wi-Fi that's in the house, okay, with that router or the extender. But to make it better, I decided to make another one right here. I'll put the link in the description. This is like a wave link. They make two different kinds, a few different kinds. Some are 2.4 and 5G bands, okay. Since the MoFi 4500 is only 2.4, guys, um, you only need that because it's fast enough. I don't need the 5G, unfortunately. I wish it was, but... 
and I have it plugged in outside. This is wireless, guys. I think you set it up initially with your router, plug it in directly. It'll pick up the signal from your router inside the house all the way outside. Now I have outside Wi-Fi. It's fast. It's awesome. Give it a try, especially, you know, put it in a central location where everybody can use it. So out there on the pool deck, you know, all around the yard when I'm mowing, I want to listen to SiriusXM. Wife's leaving me. we got to walk the dog. Have a great day.